Hello and welcome to Humanizing Online Learning. I know when you get started with a new online class, it can be very disorienting because there isn't that specific, you know, room that you're supposed to show up in, show up in every particular day and time. So what we're going to do to try to get you off on the right foot is to just spend a few minutes together here um, so I can walk you through some of the basics of navigating our course. Right now you are on the start here page, so good for you for getting there. I'm going to navigate away from this page now, which is what you're going to do when you're done with all the items on this page. So for our navigation, we're going to rely upon the buttons that you see over in the left column right here. And again, you're currently on start here. I'm going to click on home. This is our course home page, which is the page you will land on each time you log into the course. Beneath my signature, you'll find a link to email me directly. And you're also going to see a series of links on the right side that will point you to some wonderful resources from Teaching and Learning Innovations at CI that are provided to keep you on track with growing and developing as an instructor. Over on the right side of the screen, you'll see a list of assignments that are going to be due in the next several days. So that was that list will appear under the heading coming up. And then if there is any feedback I've left for you in the gradebook, you'll see that noted below. You'll be spending most of your time in this class in the modules area, so let's click there next. And um, if what you see does not look quite like this, you probably don't have your module expanded. So you may see something that looks more like this. Those uh, arrows next to the dates simply expand the modules. And when you start the class, you'll only see module one. When we get into the second module, which, which starts um, the following Wednesday, you'll see the next module open up. To get started with the module, you'll simply click on the very first item, which is always the module overview and the overview will appear. There's a quick friendly video at the top you can watch. Those are really brief. Uh, and then we've got our objectives for the module, which I want all of you to take some time to take a look at so you know what your, your goals are for the unit. And then what you'll do is simply click on the next button in the lower left corner to go to the next page in the module. So it's kind of like flipping a book. Uh, it is multimedia, so you will find videos embedded throughout like this one. Um, and you'll simply continue. Now when you get to a page uh, that looks like this it has a due date at the top that means you're on an assignment page this particular assignment is a voice thread and you'll you're going to learn quickly what voice thread is um, essentially it's a web-based tool for having conversations around media in video or voice it's a really great way to bring your presence into an online class as an instructor and a student and it helps us to get to know each other on a more personal level um, aside from just text in interactions. Now one thing I want to point out when you log into the voice threads in this class there are going to be two different options to select. Um, the logging in process will be a little bit different for those of you who are CI faculty than those of you who are outside of CI. So um, please be sure you select the, the correct link and read some of the information that I have down below. After you sign into VoiceThread the first time, it's, it's a little bit more streamlined. Um, but if you have any problems with the sign-in process, I'm the one that you'll reach out to. This is what your modules look like. Um, they're packed with all kinds of resources and many of them will take you out to resources on external sites. Uh, those are pages that I strongly encourage you to bookmark so that you have access to them later on. Let me show you um, another option for navigating the modules. If you don't want to go through them in kind of a linear fashion or if there's something you want to come back to later, you can always just click on modules again and then kind of loop in to any link um, that, that was helpful to you. Okay, so a couple different ways to get through them. And next up, there's a button titled Discussions. All of the discussions in this class are optional, so I've set up some forums here that I think would be helpful if I were you taking this course. You are also welcome to add your own discussion forum. So a forum is, um, it's like, think about it as a, a virtual room where a conversation about a particular topic takes place. 
So um, if your question doesn't fit into any of the forums that I've started here, you can start your own. The pinned discussions at the top are really places for you to ask questions um, about kind of anything of general nature. If you have something that is that seems like it's not working or a question you have about the class in general, put it in the top forum. Um, if you have a question for your for your peers about something that relates to the class, you can put it in that second forum. And then the bottom forums just have more specific focused topics. So that's pretty much how we'll be using the discussions in this class. The assignments button will take you into um, a concise list of all of the assignments for the modules. Okay, so again, those are all integrated into the modules. This is just another way to loop into them and access those assignments. The VoiceThread page is really a resource page that I've set up. This is a more direct way to get to all the VoiceThreads for our class. Same VoiceThreads that are included in the modules, just a different view of them. And then I have some resources down below for faculty and students at CI. So if you want to use VoiceThread in your class, um, these resources will be very valuable to you, not only in this class, but as you move forward. So be sure to bookmark them. The Tool Buffet link will take you to an external page, which is really a fun page. And it's got all kinds of tools on here that um, I have selected that in my opinion do a good job of bringing in your personal presence into your online class. So check those out when you have time. And then Behaviors and Strategies is a um, kind of a deeper dive into the tool buffet because what it does is it gives you examples of how the different tools have been used. So this might be something that you'll want to bookmark for later or just kind of dig into um, you know, at your leisure when you have time to, to go a little deeper into some of the tools that you might be a little intrigued by. And that about wraps up our course design tour. I hope that was helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you in the voice threads.